Okay, I think I've got this live. Uh, welcome everyone to another how to live stream. Uh, this time I'm going to show you how to live stream using multiple cameras and for multiple tables and all that sort of fun. Um, so yeah, just quickly going over what we covered in the last video was uh, how to set up your like a bit of a start with like a camera and a picture and all the fun stuff. Uh, you know, a mutt when you want to film a martyr and the martyr overlays. Uh, you want to do X-wing. We've got some X-wing overlays. A uh, little in between picture. Uh, then if you want one, something with an end closing caption. So uh, you know, something like that. Why not? Uh, but today though, I'm going to show you a couple of other things you can do. How to uh, use uh, your mobile phone as a webcam and how to use a uh, like a normal camcorder or a uh, what do they call those things DSLR cameras or whatever digital camera you've got uh, which has a HDMI output as a camera for filming uh, back reps as well uh, so the first one I want to show you is the how to use your smartphone as one uh, I've done this a few times before uh, there's this lovely program here called droid cam and hello there's my little pog um, yeah, DroidCam here is a way of uh, importing your video from the phone. Open this up, I'll show you how we do it. Live, uh, let's see. Once you, it's simple install, you install on your program, you pair them up, it's very, very easy to use. I won't go over how to use it, there's another video on YouTube somewhere I'm sure, of how to use it, but let's go add, uh, phone as the source, video source, okay, we don't want the Logitech webcam, we've already got that, we want droid cam, source 3, hello, there we go, there's me, my Porg, and yeah, currently I'm setting up for uh, Amada Regionals, which is happening tomorrow, uh, so I've got two cameras, going to be filming uh, two tables, this is our standard camera, on the tripod with the um, uh, that Logitech webcam, I can't remember which one it is, but it's a 1080 webcam. Uh, I've also got my camcorder here as well. Uh, we're going to use this to film a second table, which is over the side here. So we're going to be filming two tables, uh, whichever one's the most interesting game. That's the one we're going to film. Uh, this will be the top table. This will be a second table, so that way we can stream as as much a martyr as we can. Uh, now the other camera to get the other camera into OBS. Let's go here, uh, add video capture device. Uh, let's call this, it's already in there actually. It's, that could be it, I'll oh, do it again anyway. Let's put cam, oh, cam for camcorder. And we want the Agato Game Catcher system. Now this is how you get the video capture from Oop, nope, that's not going to work because I do have it. Ah, I'll delete you. Here we go, video capture device. It's this one here. Just open that up. There we go. So I'll just resize this. There we go. Alright, so that is table two. Um, just lock these down so I don't have to deal with them. There we go, table two. All right, video capture device. Now, how do you get your camcorder to uh, work through your computer? Unless you have a setting on your camera or some way of doing it, it can be very difficult. So, best put this over here so we get double curve, double screen. Uh, what you need to get is the Elgato Game Capture Card. And I'll flick back to the phone camera there we go uh, it's one of these little devices here uh, if you can see that uh, you plug your um, camcorder into the inlet and you have the USB outlet into your computer uh, there is a little bit of a delay when using these uh, so if you can you can there's a way to do it on OBS I haven't worked it out yet uh, you can set your standard microphone up to have a delay uh, or you can take the easy way out and just plug straight into the microphone, plug your motor, mic into the microphone inlet, or just use the microphone that's on the camera. So yeah, that's going to be the setup we're going to have for the day. So yep, fun, lots of fun things sitting here in front of me. 
so I've got to can catch the device uh, default resolution you can leave it as default or you can do like what we did with the uh, droid cam the this cam up here whatever it's called uh, let's see the resolution uh, just drop it down to 720 because you're only going to be streaming in 720 anyway so I might actually have the camera set to 720 as is because no point pushing out what you don't have to so yep yeah, so let's just turn off for a minute there we go uh, yep there's a new camera oh, better make it a bit bigger there we go so there you go you can see now in the camera uh, yeah, it's actually better picture quality you can get better picture quality out of these uh, droid ca out of the uh, camcorders and DHL DA DHL cameras whatever that DSL cameras I think they are than what you can out of the webcams however I'll bring this back up there we go uh, yeah, look at the size difference. You've got this little thing here that just runs on the, US, on the simple USB, plugs into your laptop. This thing here needs a power input. Uh, it needs the Elgato system. Uh, there's a lot of things to make work. You do get better picture out of it. Uh, oh, I should transition so you can see what I'm talking about. There we go. So this one here, very small camera, tripod, one cable, USB, that's it. This camera needs a power cable. Uh, unless you just want to run off battery, but you can chew through your battery really fast. You need the HDMI cable to go into your Elgato system, then you need the USB into your computer. So it's a bit, you know, it's a bit more mucking around for stuff you probably don't need when you can just straight up just use a webcam. So if you if you do if you want to do like a proper professional setup and real and stream high quality, then it's worth doing this. I've got this for other things that I want to do. Uh, so I'm just using it for the gaming today, because yeah, why not? I've got it. See, okay, now so we want to film two tables tomorrow. I want to film one table of Amada. I should probably leave on this one, shouldn't I? I'll just take my face off the screen so I'm sure you don't want to keep looking at me. I don't need that one. Uh, I'll take the flat cam for now. No, I'll do it a phone cam. Oh, actually, I'll leave it on me. I'm sure you want to look at me. <laughs> I'll just put it over here so that way you don't get that double screen effect, possibly. Possibly. That's a bit better. No double screen. Alrighty, uh, so we want to add a second scene down here, um, in here for our Amada. We've got, that's our one table which we're filming now. I want a second table, so the fastest way to do it, we keep all the same same things is just to duplicate Amada 2 sounds good to me scroll up between there I'm going to get rid of this X-Wing one because we won't need that for tomorrow uh, Amada 1 Amada 2 uh, fast way to do it go to a webcam we will not want that webcam I won't delete it I'll just deactivate it and then I will add in yeah, capture device add existing or that one there Video capture device will give us the camcorder, there we go. Uh, but we want that to go down below everything, so that way the overlays appear on the top. A little scroll down the bottom here, objectives and timer if that was on. Logo, no, we don't want logo. Takes up too much space in this one. Uh, yeah, so there we go, that's just easy setting up using two cameras. Uh, you can actually use your webcam as well if you wanted to. You could actually set your mobile phone up with a dice cam as well if you want to have a dice cam. The only thing with the system, using the droid cam system here, is that it will chew up your battery on your phone, so make sure you get it plugged into power. Uh, it really does suck up the juice. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it really, using two cameras. Uh, I don't think there's really much else I need to explain about that. Oh, let's just have to, what you might want to do though, if you're gonna run two tables. Uh, better bring this into the other window so you can see what's going on. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is our little overlay program I've got just on GitHub, X-Wing. No, on GitHub you'll find it there. Open this in new window. Where are you? Let's do two versus two. He brings two lists to an armada. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, so now you've got two different windows. 
the reason why you need two different windows when using two different sources for uh, your overlays with Amada is because you want this one here to be on a different window, not a different tab, because OBS needs to pick up different windows when using its overlays. So let's go here. Uh, this one's got two versus two. This one here has two versus two, but what we'll do, we'll change this one here to, okay, four versus four. Okay. Now I'm going to bring those back onto my other screen. F11, make it full page. Hey, you can see me again. Okay. All right. So when you flick between one, oh, that didn't work. Why didn't that work? Oh, I know why. Uh, copy. Uh, paste duplicate. Amada overlay two. You need to delete if in Amada two. You need to. I suppose you just turn it off. Don't delete it. You never really have to delete anything here. Scroll you down. Um, um, Amada overlay in this one and a matter overlay in this one for the overlays. If you change one in one, it'll change in the other one. So you do need a matter overlay two. Uh, let's change this to the two versus two. There we go. So we flip between the two now. There we go. That looks pretty. So that way you can have two lists, uh, two completely different lists on two different tables. And uh, yeah, so you can start you can start the game on one, okay this game's over, you want to pick up what's happening in the next game and then you just transition over to that one, uh, or you can just transition back between the two because you know, you can, because why not, confuse people while watching. Bring me back on the screen here. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for that there. I don't know if anyone's actually online watching and commenting right now. Hey, Mars is on. Yeah, what's Mars saying? For some reason, I deleted regional's event page. Nice one, Mars. <laughs> Go back and fix that. <laughs> okay. Bring up OBS again. Here we go. Uh, yeah, so I think that's really about it, really. Just, uh, I'll probably, I'll go through, I'll change your list later on. Uh, I won't do this now because we've talked about that before. Uh, so it's using the two, two cameras, two different things. Uh, the way I've got the page set up on the other screen, which I think I'll, I'll actually do that. I'll just show you the other device. Uh, let's see. Display capture. This is how you just capture displays. Uh, display capture two. Uh, yep, I want the other screen. That's the other screen. I've got two screens. That's the. Yeah, that's the screen I'm using for all my overlays. I have to use this other screen for my overlay because it's a 9 by 16 screen. The other screen is not a 9 by 16 ratio, so it makes it really hard to get good overlays on these. Uh, yeah, so once we're done with that one, we'll go back to main. Uh, the next round is going to be six, six ships versus three because, yeah, why not? Uh, so do that. Back to main. Uh, we're going to do four versus six. Uh, so that way in Amada 2, Amada 2 hasn't been changed, this is why you need different windows, uh, but Amada 1 has been changed for the next round, so Amada 2, to get that back up, uh, we just click on the second screen, where are you, there you are, there we go, that's the two, you can choose two to choose from, you can just scroll between the two, Oop. Is that where we were? I think it was. No, that's where we were. Ah, there you go. Full page. I was wondering why it wasn't full screen. There you go. Yeah, you can just use your other screen and click those little icons on the desktop here, like what I'm doing. I'll flip back so you can see. Yeah, click this little icon here, and then you can just flip between the two without having to minimize one of the screens that you're using for your overlays. Uh, that way you don't get this lovely thing happen. Mention that. Yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll all love it when I do this, I'm sure. Ah! Oop, wrong screen. There we go. Yeah, whenever you, whenever you, Firefox, whenever you scroll up to the top of the screen, it takes that, takes that full screen off temporarily. It annoys me that. It's like seeing behind the curtain. 
Okay, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for using OBS. Uh, again, so just a couple of other things that we use. I'm going to stop. Oh, no, we don't. Live. Do, do, do. Scroll down a bit. Okay, so just remember what we use for a timer as well. Uh, we use this program here, Schnaz. Uh, so, yeah, just click start and then. Why haven't you come up? Oh, because I turned you off. There you go. Little timer there so you can time your games. Um, just a little program there. That's, I went into that in detail in the other program, uh, the last episode, I believe. Uh, restream is where we do. No, I do it. No, I'm not doing it, Mars. I've got enough to do. I have to go cut up a Marder match now. Uh, yeah, Restream is who we stream to, so we can stream directly to Restream, and then we can stream that on to, uh, oops, transition to game. Actually, I want to do that. There we go. Yeah, so, Schnaz, the program we use to do our times for, uh, yeah, again, went into detail on that. Uh, Mars is giving me crap on YouTube. You should be working, Mars. Uh, yeah, I think that's really bad it. So yeah, now we've got two tables ready to go. I've uh, got multiple cameras. Can use my phone as a, as a dice cam if I wanted to. Probably won't. Because as always, the danger when using your phone is that someone will call you, right? In that pivotal role. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, I think that's it. So uh, yeah, if you have any questions. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. Uh, no, you're not, I am. No, you're not working, Mars. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you have any questions about OBS or anything that I here if I went over it too fast um, yeah let me know and uh, yeah I'll answer any questions in the comments oh thanks guys uh, so yeah don't forget to like subscribe like us on Facebook and uh, fly casual and we'll see you uh, yeah tomorrow